So what I have right here is a cactus fruit that I've never seen before. This guy. So you check that out. This is uh, obviously very different looking than the um, prickly pears I've had in the past. Here's uh, also a green one. I don't. I'm pretty sure this is probably just like not ripened all the way, and this one is. I'm guessing. I th believe these are the same. Um, the same variety, but might be wrong. And I'm not entirely sure what this is, like what the species is. Cactus fruits are notoriously difficult because there are just like so many different species of cactuses. The most I can really say that this is, is it's a, a columnar cactus. Does you see a cactus in a cartoon? That's a columnar cactus. The ones that I had in the past, like prickly pears, those are nopali cactuses, where it's got like the pads. This is more like columns. Ooh, look at that. That is a beautiful color. Looks like, just looks like gore, like meat. It's very like red. Very juicy. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. That looks like, uh, like a yellow dragon fruit. Or like a white dragon fruit. It's very succulent. It's just like practically like falling out of there. Uh, so less firm than a red dragon fruit. Mmm. Yeah. You can, like, eat this with a straw. <laughs> it has, like, the consistency of, like, raspberry jam. Come to think of it, it does have a berry flavor. Not so much strawberry, or not so much uh, raspberry, but strawberry. It tastes like strawberry jam. Maybe not as strong of a flavor. It's, like, milder. But... Yeah, definitely like a berry taste. Um, it's very sweet. Very slight tartness to it. The tartness that you would get from like a berry. More than anything, this tastes like if you took a red... Like you took like a dragon fruit and you mixed it with like strawberry jam and put like a little bit of brown sugar in it. That's what you get here. You know, a lot of people complain about dragon fruits because they are very very mild um, this is the answer to your problems because it tastes like how you would want those to taste so let's try the other one again you can see it's very like shiny very succulent looking it's not like a regular white dragon fruit or uh, yellow dragon fruit it's just kind of like you can see it just like falls out of there very different. You know, looking at this, like, you want it to taste like uh, yellow dragon fruit. It does taste like a dragon fruit, maybe more like a white dragon fruit, but it's, um, it's quite sour. A little bit like a sour kiwi, but it's not nearly as strong as a kiwi. The mouthfeel is a little bit like kiwi because it has tiny little black seeds the way that kiwi has. I say like this is more like white dragon fruit with a hint of like a mild citrus, like lemony kind of citrus, and a mild kiwi. That's kind of what this tastes like. It's uh, not super strong, but it is a lot stronger than the uh, white dragon fruit. It's not. It's sweet, but it's not as sweet as um, yellow dragon fruit. The red one here is by far the winner, but this is still very nice. And I think it's it's still one that, like, if you think white dragon fruits look really cool on the outside, you'd be a lot happier if it tasted like this. Less interesting on the outside, but the inside uh, is, is much tastier. So, uh, yeah, very interesting. Uh, Mexican patayas. You know, I didn't even really know that these existed, but there are just like 
hundreds and hundreds of, uh, of species of cactus. There's a lot of differences if you compare the different flavors of, uh, of all the species. So uh, very interesting to get to try uh, two new uh, pitaya varieties here. And um, yeah, I, it makes me eager to try even more. So until next time, guys, bye-bye. Hey, so at the end of this video, there's going to be a preview of next week's fruit, so stay tuned for that. But first, business! I want to give a shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. Patreon is how this channel happens. So if you want to help me out by giving a completely voluntary contribution to my channel, check out the link that's around me right now or in the description below. Uh, big shout out to the channel Smarter Every Day. They help me out a lot on Patreon, so if you haven't heard of them, check them out. I also have t-shirts for sale. These are available on my website, which are also in the link below. If you don't want to give me money, subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, any of that stuff. Alright, thanks so much, guys. Bye.